Lawyers in the Kilpatrick corruption case are asking for clarification on one of the counts. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo joins us from downtown. And Heather, what were they asking about today? Well, they're asking about count one, the big RICO count. This, of course, is the sixth day of deliberations, but the first day that a question from the jury has risen to the level that the judge asked all the attorneys to come back into court and place this question on the record. Now, what they're asking about is why is some of the language slightly different in count one, that's, of course, again, the big RICO, the racketeering conspiracy count, compared to other counts where similar conduct is alleged. So here's the deal. RICO is comprised of a lot of different Acts, and those are all alleged to be in the furtherance of the conspiracy. So, so things like those water department deals, the alleged extortion, the alleged bid rigging, the Kilpatrick Civic Fund allegations, those are all part of the RICO count. But those acts, that conduct, they're also charged separately in the indictment. They have their own charges in the indictment. So it sounds like the jury was just trying to clarify all of that. Here's Bernard Kilpatrick's attorney, John Shea, explaining their question. Count one is uh, is a, a compilation of lots of substance, some of which you might find restated more discreetly in other parts of the indictment. And so they wanted to know whether if 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 a particular event was alleged a little bit differently or described a little bit differently in count one as opposed to a substantive count later, is that is that meaningful in any way? That that's what they were asking. I mean, they're, they're being careful. Mr. Shea saying, of course, don't read anything into the questions that are coming from the jury. There's absolutely no way to tell for sure where they stand in their deliberations. Lawyers from both the defense and the prosecution work together to come up with some language. The judge, for, for the answer to that question, the judge then read that answer to the jurors, and then they resumed their deliberations. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Back to you.